We're making aprons, bib aprons with pockets. We got top pockets and bottom pockets. Because when you're in the kitchen, sometimes you need a pocket for a spoon here or whatever you may need to work with in your in your cooking. <laughs> when I make my grilled cheese and tomato soup next time, you're right. I will have no splatter on my shirt. Exactly, exactly. And that's what it's for, is to keep you clean, neat in the kitchen. Okay, uh, we're gonna cut yours on the fold. So uh, leave it five inch of an inch for cutting. This way you can have your hem, have enough for hemming. And since we don't have a long enough piece over here, we're gonna cut yours on open out. Mm -hmm. So it would be one piece and you're gonna go around and you can take this and if you want and do like almost five eighths of an inch. And this is where you- Just on the outside yeah, this, yeah, this way you'll be cutting. So we're gonna cut around that so you can take your scissors and you cut out your, your pattern. Just make sure you do five eighths of an inch all around. Just five eighths about right there. Yeah, that should be good. That's enough just to give you a hem. Uh, usually we could use a, a pattern if we like, but sometimes it's just easy just to cut off from another dashiki, I mean a, another apron. So if I don't have this initial thing, do I have to draw it out myself? You can, you okay. can, you can. But see, if you was using a pattern, you would be laying a piece of pattern oh, piece out, okay, and yeah. it'll show you where to cut, and it, it leaves enough space that you'll have your 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, cool. And then all the material that you have left, you'll design you some pockets. It may be any kind of pocket. See how I did this round pocket here? Mm -hmm. So this is what material I had left. So this is a short pocket. What is your actually your favorite material? What's your favorite item to make? All of it. Anything that, and it, sometimes it keeps me up at night when I want to design something that's not falling the way I want to. So it keeps me up to, and I'll dream about it and think about it all night until I wake up the next day. I'll know exactly what I want to do with it. Now, what we since this is folded, we have to cut across here. Cut across there. Yeah, as well. you got to right. open that because you have two aprons being made. Two. Yeah, because we with the way we cut, this goes straight across there. Should I just cut up mm -hmm. like this? Mm-hmm. Let me show you a trick with scissors. Let's see it. <laughs> open this some kind of way and hold this. And, just, and we take your apron mm -hmm. and we put it to you. And all we have to do is add your pockets and your straps. And we have to take- How's it look? You approve, Kristen? And see, That's right. And this, what about Katie, you like it? Woo. What about Sierra? <laughs> yes, see this is- a, so accomplished this already. Is, this is enough material to make your straps. All right. Some pockets. And if, if it's not, we can just sew this together. I cut this. Take these scissors, cut this, sew it together straight, and you make your pocket. Oh. Yep. It could be up there, however you want it. We'll make it we'll make it work. We'll cut this off maybe and do it like that. Yeah. And we can have a round pocket. See how the shape it took? I see, I like it, yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. And you have enough material to make your pockets. And if you want to line it up and make it see yours is yours is even because you cut it on the fold. So you got everything in the middle. So you can take your, put your pocket here, a couple of pockets here, and do your, you have enough for your straps. Or you can do a half an apron. Some people don't like the whole apron, they just go half ways. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna skip doing the bobbin, but I'm gonna show you how it's done if we, had, if we wanted to do it. You take the bobbin, this is the bobbin. And this is, your, this is the uh, thread you need for underneath the stitch. So okay. you put the bobbin in here, just bring it around here and you thread it, and you press the pedal, press your pedal. That's how you thread it, Ooh. okay? Then when, once this is back in place, it's doing something, it's going to actual sewing. So we thread the bobbin. This is the bobbin case. Take it through here and around here. And if it goes like that, it's, it's good tight. So you take it and put it here. Now we're gonna thread machine. Bring it around through here, and each machine is threaded different, so you usually get a book. You make sure the bar is up, and this is your tension. You bring it down through here. It seems like it's too tight, so this is how we decrease the tension. Mm -hmm. This is your width and your length. And, and to wet it like this, and then wet the back of the needle, makes this thread come through really nice. Hold this like this, hold this down like this, and it picks up that thread from the bobbin. You pull it out. You always make sure the thread is back here, okay? 
Now bring your um, your apron. Now we're, we're, we don't have the necessary time we need to do this. So usually you take pin this here like this. You take the pins and you pin your seam. And you make sure you got it on the right side. So hold this here. You don't, you don't push it, you just guide it. Okay. You're just gonna guide it with this hand. I'd be terrified Go ahead. right now. I'd sew my finger through. Hold it right I here, so because you, you're going to keep folding this as you go. Press it. Okay, stop. Now, once you do the first two stitches, you press this and well, keep your hand there. Press this with this hand, and it goes backwards. Press, press the pedal. Press backwards. Go ahead, do it again. See, that locks the stitch in. Now, stop. Oh. That locks your stitch in. Okay, now we're going to do this again. Hold this here. You're just guiding it. But you're holding this. Go does, ahead. does the speed matter? The way the well, you, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. If you, you if you good at it, you want it, you go a little faster. But if you you know you you know you're just learning, you're gonna go a little so slow. Easy, easy. It's like driving a car, so you just give it a little gas. So go ahead. Not like how Kristen drives. <laughs> and you're gonna make sure this stays lined up with that 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 uh, line there. Go ahead. Press the button. Very good. Very good. Now as you go, you're gonna be folding this over. Folding this in. You can take your finger and do it like this. And you don't have to be precise since we didn't measure it. Now as you go, you don't have to stop, but as you go, you just keep rolling okay. that in. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. We're gonna cut this. We fold this like so. Stop. Press, press it. Press your foot. Back up. Okay. Now, you keep doing this down to here. You're going to hold this. That's going to be a strap. This is what the straps would look like. If you want it wide like that, and you do a double stitch like this to hold it, make sure it's tight. And see, you got the little skinny ones for around the neck. Okay, and that's your finished product of your apron. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. <laughs> Thank you.